This is how to see your Facebook and Instagram ad performance in Meta. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it's done. We're here in a Meta ad account. And as you can see, we have budget, results, reach, impressions, cost per result, amount spent. This is all very messy. We even have bid strategy in here, attributes and setting. Are you all that interested in this when you're trying to look at results? Maybe not. So where do we start? I would recommend selecting the had delivery filter in the top left, just to make sure that you're actually looking at ads that have delivered in this period of time. Then we want to come over to columns, select performance, and then customize our columns. What we're going to build is this, a results column preset that just shows us our inputs, our amount spent, right? The number of purchases that we achieved from this campaign within that time frame. This is just this month, right? And then the purchase conversion value, the revenue that came from each of these purchases, and then our efficiency metrics. That is our ROAS or our ACOS the percentage of our revenue that was reinvested back into ads. So it's just our ROAS expressed in a different way. Awesome. So let's jump into it. How do you build this? First, come into uh, your columns here and then click customize columns. And then we want to X out all of the columns on the left-hand side here. Right, X them all out. And then we want to add them back in one by one. So the first thing we want is spent, right? How much do we put in? Then we want purchases. What are we getting out? We're getting purchases from our campaign. And then what were they worth, right? You'll see that there's all these check boxes on the right-hand side here for in-app purchases, website purchases, meta purchases. If you are interested in a channel breakdown of the purchases, you can leave these checked, but I recommend unchecking them. They can add a lot of extra information. You could also add the cost per purchase, right? What is it costing you on a per purchase basis? This is another efficiency metric, right? It's the amount of purchases that we're getting from the spend, right? Awesome. So the next thing that we have to do here is add in some more efficiency metrics. That might be like ROAS, right? If ROAS is interesting to you, you can also get a channel breakdown. And our A cost, right? We created this as a custom metric. So let's say you wanna create a custom metric, come into custom, click create metric. If we want to do A cost, right? Advertising cost of sales, or we could call it MER, right? We would name that, change the format to percentage, and then define exactly what it is. So that's, so that's spend, amount spent, from purchase conversion value. And we don't want to select average purchases conversion value, we want to select purchase conversion values. And then maybe you want to add a description for the rest of the marketing team. So that might be marketing efficiency ratio. Awesome, then click create metric. So now we have MEER in there, which is the same thing as ACOS. We can add that in at the bottom, then click save. Awesome, so now we can see that we have our amount spent, our inputs, and then all of our outputs and our efficiency metric. We're getting out purchases, right? This is the number of purchases. This is what they're worth, right? Their purchase conversion value, the revenue dollars, the relationship between input and output, our amount spent and our revenue. So that's $2.56 in exchange for every $1. And this is actually a multiplier. So if we just multiply 597 and 20 cents by 2.56, we're gonna get $1,527. Awesome. And then our cost per purchase, right? How many purchases are we getting for this spend, right? And that relationship between the two. And then our MER, right? The percentage of our revenue that we're reinvesting back into ad spend. But what if I want to understand the rate of valuable interactions with my ads here in Meta? Things like the thumb stop, right? My ability to stop people's thumbs as they're scrolling through their feed or the hold rate, right? The ability to keep people on that video watching or progressing through to the website, clicking, adding to cart, viewing content, looking at the product pages, and then finally making a purchase. Let's find out. Here we are back in Meta, and I'm gonna to start to build out that column preset. But as you can see, I already have that one saved. I've called it Analyzer. So we can see here, three second video views, watch rate, click through rate, landing page views, per blink click, product consider rate, add to cart rate, purchase rate. So let's build this out because right now it's already built and we probably don't have to do this. So let's, the first thing we wanna do is build a custom metric for hook rate. So we're gonna say three second video plays, right? from impressions. Meta already has this, but they haven't called it hook rate. So we're just recreating this, right? I'll also show you where Meta's version of this is. So we can click create metric and now we have hook rate. I'm gonna drag that one all the way to the top. Our ability to stop the thumb, right? We could also rename this if we don't want it to be called hook rate, it could be called thumb stop rate, right? We'll just change that name here and do the same thing. Three second video plays from impressions. And let's see it the whole way through just that we have this one in there as well. Now we've got thumb stop rate. And you'll see that these are exactly the same. They just have different names, right? 
This is actually exactly the same as if we come under our performance funnel, we have this metric here, three second video plays per impressions. You also see purchase rate per landing page views, right? So our conversion rate for a user who actually loads the landing page as opposed to hard bounces, and then purchase rate per link click, right? So this is gonna include hard bounces, people who click on the link but don't actually load the landing page, and then landing page views per link clicks, which is a really interesting one. It's saying, what is the quality rate of our link clicks, right? How often are people actually loading the landing page as opposed to just clicking on the link and never loading the website? I've got all of these populated, but I'm actually gonna remove them so I can make my own versions. So we can see here we've got thumb stop rate, we've got watch rate, click through rate, product consider rate, add to cart rate, and hook rate down at the bottom. I'm gonna remove hook rate. So we've kind of got this chronological progression all the way through the funnel from top to bottom. I can also reorder these to make them into that chronological format, but I'm not gonna reorder them right now because as soon as I add another metric, everything's gonna get jumbled up. So I'm gonna leave that for now. So the next thing I want to create here is a quality click rate. So we're gonna come into custom. We've got amount spent, that's what we're putting in. We're stopping thumbs, and then we've got watch rate in here, right? So watch rate, that would be through plays from impressions, right? We can call this watch rate or hold rate. Some people call it hold rate. I'm gonna call it that for now. Everyone with access to the business. The percentage of users who watch or click through, right? Because if somebody watches three seconds, four seconds, five seconds of a 15 second or a one minute video, but they click through, we'd still wanna consider that the ability to hold that user through to the valuable interaction. Awesome, click that. And we've got that created, right? We could add that in now, but we're not gonna reorder it because again, they're all gonna get jumbled up. So we're gonna create another metric after we've hooked We've got them to watch. What's the next step? It's click through. We've already got click through rates. So we'd have to create that. The next thing is quality click, right? That landing page from link clicks. So we're gonna do, make that one now. Landing page views from link clicks. We're gonna call this quality click rate. Percentage of clicks that load the landing page. I'm gonna click create metric to finalize that. And now we have a quality click rate, right? I just reordered it, but it is gonna get messed up. Awesome, next thing, product consider rate. Are they going to the product page? So are they viewing the product? Let's create that one again, right? So this is called content views from, now we're gonna do it from link clicks, right? Because we wanna do this based off the last very valuable interaction, the last stage in the funnel, right? We could also do it from landing page views if you want, right? But I'm gonna do it from link clicks. So we're gonna call this product consider rate. And then we're gonna say everyone with access to this business. Awesome, we've got that in here now. So we've got two product consider rates. I only need one, so I can delete one. And then we're gonna add in add to cart rate, right? So adds to a cart from link clicks. That is a percentage. Add to cart rate. The rate of cart additions per link click. And then we're gonna make sure that everyone has access to this in this business. Awesome. And we can see that's populated under our custom metrics, add to cart rate. All right, now let's create our conversion rate. We're gonna use purchases, but you could use a different conversion event if you like from link clicks, right? And again, you could use landing page views if that is what is interesting to you. And we're gonna call this conversion rate, or we could call it purchase rate if you're interested in that, right? I'm gonna call it conversion rate for now. Okay, purchases from link clicks and we can also add rate of purchases from link clicks everyone with access to this business and then create that metric now it's time to reorder these into a chronological format so we're going to add in conversion rate and then we're going to look at this from top to bottom we've got amount spent right we've got watch rate i want hook rate first so let's add in our thumb stop rate the same thing as hook rate then we've got watch rate click through rate right we've got add to cart rate but i actually want product consider rate first and we've got add to cart rate, quality click rate. I want that above uh, product consider rate because quality click rate is the rate that we achieve a landing page view from a click, right? And then we have product consider rate, add to cart rate and conversion rate, awesome. So now we've got this, we're gonna call it the creative funnel. And I'm gonna see all of the rates of valuable interactions with my ads and my campaigns. So now I can see each of these campaigns has a different thumb stop rate, a different watch rate, a different click through rate, a different quality click rate, product consider rate, add to cart rates and conversion rates. And if I open up each of these, I'm gonna see different uh, 
metrics. You can see actually my watch rate is very off here. And we can see it says through plays from three second video plays per impression. So we've got a really wonky metric in here. It looks like this was created badly. So I'm gonna click delete metric and we're gonna replace that one. So I'm gonna open up by customizing columns, right? Come into custom, right? Remove that watch rate and recreate it, right? So this is through plays from three second. We need this second one here, watch rate. And we're gonna give everyone with access to this business. Perfect. So we can see that new watch rate metric in here. That looks about right to me. And then we're gonna drag it back into its place after thumb stop rate. Awesome. Now that looks a little bit more realistic. And I can also open up each of these campaigns to see it on an ad set level or even on an ad level, right? So I can see that this campaign has six different ads, right? And I can see the thumb stop rate, watch rate, click through rate, quality click rate, product consider rate, add to cart rate, and conversion rate for each of these ads. It looks like the DPA is the one that is getting everything right now. It has, doesn't have a thumb stop rate because most of the time it's probably not showing video. It has a watch rate because when it does show video a very small percentage of the time, it seems to get people to perform a through play. It has a pretty good through rate of 4.22%. Then it has a quality click rate of 91%. 91% of people who click are loading the landing page. And then the product consider rate is very high. People are going directly to landing pages because they're coming from a DPA. And then we can see the add to cart rate is pretty high too. 8% of people considering making a purchase and 2.39% of people committing to their purchase. Awesome. So that's how you can see your ad creative performance in Meta. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.